Hi friends, Joe Edelman here with another quick gear review video. Here we have the Donner DTC100 electric guitar, which you can find on Amazon at the link shown above as well as in the description. I believe it's currently selling for $129 US. This is my fourth collaboration with the lovely folks over at Donner. You can check out my previous review of the DST-102 Strat Style Electric, which is also linked above and in the description. The DTC is, of course, their Telecaster body style equivalent, ST for Strat, TC for Telecaster, and it shares a lot of features in common with that other guitar. The Strat versus Tele debate is an age-old question, with the obvious and cheeky answer being, why not both? I started very squarely in the Strat camp and continue to have a soft spot for it due to my early heroes, Jimi Hendrix, David Gilmour, Stevie Ray Vaughan, and of course my latter-day hero, Ed O'Brien. But even before becoming the Radiohead guru and Johnny Greenwood devotee that I have, I began to fall in love with the less is more aesthetic of the Tele. The Strat configuration, of course, has those signature in-between pickup positions when you want to get funky, and the tremolo bar when you want to get squiggly, but sometimes all you need is two pickups and a solid hunk of wood. The DTC doesn't get any more bare bones than that, and at a very affordable beginner price tier, it's a great way to get your feet wet in the muddy waters of Tele. Overall, I found the guitar to be another really solid and enjoyable product from Donner. Not perfect, and I'll get into my personal likes and dislikes in a bit, but certainly one I would recommend to any guitar beginner or even modders like myself. The guitar ships with a basic strap and cable, as well as a soft gig bag. So before I start pontificating, let me play some tunes on it and show you how it sounds. I'm using my trusty Vox AC30, mic'd with a Sennheiser E906, into my Mackie Onyx interface. And for dirt, I'll add the Earthquaker Devices Plumes pedal. <laughs>
Okay, so here's what I liked most about the guitar. First, it looks great. They did a really great job with this classic three-tone sunburst finish. It has a really nice gloss and detail to it. The tuners, the switch, the knobs, they all feel very solid, not like they're cheap in any way. Secondly, the fret edges and the back of the neck is very smooth, which compares favorably to even much higher priced guitars. The body, which is poplar, has a really nice weight to it. It's a little bit more solid feeling to me than the DST, which was a lighter basswood. The action is really playable out of the box and easy to adjust with their choice of the six saddle bridge. If you like nine gauge strings on your longer scale length guitars, you'll enjoy the slinkiness here. I personally am used to tens to allow me to ham fist my chords and the like. And here in my personal and experience biased opinion is what I disliked about the guitar. The neck is essentially identical in design to the one used on their DST, which means a slimmer contour, moderately sized frets and flat fingerboard radius. As you may remember, I prefer my neck tapers a bit chunkier, my frets larger, and my fingerboards a little bit curvier. Not a deal breaker by any means, and I still found it comfortable enough to get around on. The fret and fretboard feel under finger when bending had a little bit of that same dryness or grittiness that the DST did, maybe again due to fret material or to the grain of the fingerboard wood. For the latter, I'm sure a little lemon oil would probably help some to smooth it out. It also might be a preference thing, but I'm more into the snappiness of a solid maple neck versus the sponginess of rosewood or its substitutes. I also had a little bit of a tougher time setting the intonation out of the box than I did on the DST. I did ultimately get it to a spot where it was more or less in, but it took more adjustment to get there. The bridge pickup was a little bit brittle and bright sounding and the neck pickup a little bit muddy, but you could definitely get serviceable tele style tones out of both of them and they make sense at the price tier and target audience. In conclusion, I definitely give this guitar a recommend for beginners or folks looking for some tele style on a budget. There are some easy upgrades to pursue, but it's plenty playable as it is. Kudos again to Donner and thanks to them for providing me with the guitar and other products to demo. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already and let me know if there's any other gear you'd like to see me review or any other video ideas. I'll be back soon with more covers, original songs, and instructional content. Be well, everybody.